Okay, so the next one is the Sasuke Recovery Mission. This is another one I mentioned and I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it in more detail. So in the story we have Sasuke who values power over bonds. But Naruto values bonds over, over power. And actually, this might be the theme. It's crazy because for the longest time I thought the theme was about empathy. It was about Naruto, who never had a family, versus Sasuke, who had a family and lost it. But if you actually pay attention, they talk about other things in the plot, in the fight. They talk about the bonds. Sasuke talks about severing the bonds, and Naruto's like, no, you don't need to do that. Anyway, let's go back to uh, bonds versus power. So Sasuke has the character arc. He sees Naruto. I mean, uh, uh, let's let's do with characters. Sasuke is getting jealous of Naruto because he's getting powerful, and Sasuke wants power. He wants power. Why does Sasuke want value power? Well, because of his backstory. In his backstory, his clan died, and he wants revenge. In order to get that revenge, he needs power. And Itachi told him that he need your hatred is not strong. But you need. He told him that in order to defeat him, he would have to kill those close to him. He needs to kill his friend to get the Mangekyo. He needs to kill his fr closest friend in order to get the Mangekyo. And then, that's that's the basis for Sasuke. And then there's also Orochimaru is tempting him with power. That's that's something we can do with plot. Nah, 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 nah. Orochimaru wants Sasuke's body. That's his goal. Okay, so we have the characters and we have the themes. So what is the plot of this story? Well, Sasuke is jealous. Sas no, the more important part is that Sasuke realized that Naruto might be stronger than him. And Sasuke challenges Naruto, and then when he loses the fight, Sasuke realizes that he's weak. And then Kakashi, he starts going down the path of power over bonds. But then Kakashi comes in. So like we, we don't have to have Sasuke balance between the good side, the dark side, and the light side. But Kishimoto decided to add that. So he starts going towards the dark side, which is power over bonds. But then Kakashi course corrects him with the little speech that he gave him and he starts going back to good but then we need Sasuke to go back to bad so what do we do? we introduce the sound for they beat him up and they also show him the potential power that he could get with his curse mark so he goes with them Sasuke goes with them to, to increase his power he values power over bonds he's willing to leave his bonds over that's another thing hold on I need to remember that okay so he's willing to leave his friends for power but then Naruto goes after Sasuke. Why? Because he believes bonds over power. He values bonds the most. And then the rest of the team, they also value their bonds to a degree. And that's why they help Naruto. And then in the final battle, the values are tested. How can we prove Naruto? Sasuke also values this another thing. He values Naruto. Naruto's bond. His bond with Naruto. But then how can we value test him? We gotta put two values against each other and have him choose one over the other. So Sasuke kind of dabbles in both. He chooses power over bonds by trying to kill Naruto. But then he kind of tiptoe, he kind of stays on both sides by not actually killing Naruto. So it shows that he still values the bond to a degree, but he not not enough that he won't go to Orochimaru. And that is the crux of it. That's basically the outline of the plot if you ignore all the extra fights but then there's actually some other interesting that have things that happen this theme of bonds versus power is actually kind of or at least the bond side is shown in some of the other characters for example choji's bond with shikamaru is highlighted in his fight and it motivates him to defeat his opponent and then neji's bond with naruto he keeps talking about how he called me a genius that's what motivates him in his fight so the the family thing and the empathy thing, that is part of it and part of the argument. But I believe that bonds over power is the main thing. And then in the climax, Sasuke wins. So that kind of shows that bonds is better than power. That's a negative ending. But then in later arcs, they will go. I mean, in the end, the final battle switches. And then this, this bonds versus power thing is actually still kind of shown throughout part two. Because Sasuke keeps cutting off his friends. He cuts off Team 7, oh, I mean, not Team, team Heavy, or Team Taka eventually. And he does all that just to get to Danzo. And then by the final arc, he's all alone. Meanwhile, Naruto continues to keep his bonds. So like that that whole theme of bonds versus power is still there. And I would have never discovered this dichotomy if it wasn't for this character type theme. If it wasn't for the plot formula. So this is again why I like the Sasuke recovery mission. I think this is part of the reason I don't like the Tsunade arc that much. Because I don't think, like I said with the Aronka arc, either this formula is not there 
or the elements in the formula are not strong enough or not well written enough. But like I said, you don't really need 3 act structure if you got this. They added all the stuff, for example, uh, all the fights, all the extra fights, the Sand Siblings coming back. Those aren't necessary to the story, but they just add, they just flesh out the story. They're welcome, but unnecessary. That's this video.